We found out in the DMX at the first day that uh, actually the Atlas is tilting when I go forward. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Hutchison, and today Jonas has offered to share part of his story with us, which thank you so much for joining us today. And Jonas has traveled all the way from Germany and has been with us for over a week now. And Jonas, just tell us what made you think to reach out to us and travel to Florida and, you know. Yeah, yeah actually I had this uh, incident or accident um, in 2015 and um, I was falling down around one and a half or two meters on the concrete floor and um, on my right shoulder my neck was uh, going to that way and I had, uh, at the beginning I thought it's maybe not so big thing but uh, after one day I realized my, my, my left jaw and my neck everything hurts and I, it started that I had hurt issues of uh, yeah, with the rhythm of the herd and uh, yeah. yeah, after that all the muscles of my tension started to increase and uh, on the, especially on the left side and uh, yeah, since then I had to visit a lot of doctors in Germany and in, in Europe, let's say, and uh, yeah, the most of them didn't know what's really going on, let's say, and uh, I tried a lot of things and uh, yeah. At the beginning of this year, or in uh, in May, I think I, I I I've seen your videos and uh, yeah I, I've seen what you're doing and uh, for me it was uh, really uh, had made made a lot of sense to 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 work on all these muscles to make this analysis with the DMX and I've seen several uh, different videos for you with uh, different. Uh, patients who had the same uh, issues and uh, symptoms so we started with this uh, remote um, training yeah and uh, after a while when I was okay I, I decided to, to come here to 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 check what we can do and uh, that's what what we have done now so you made the trip out here and we did the digital motion x-ray and were you surprised by what we found yeah, actually, uh, it, it was the goal to, to, to check what is really going on because yeah. uh, the last few years, as I said, I did a lot of functional um, X-rays and uh, MRIs uh, upright. And uh, yeah, in, in, in Germany, they, they, the, the, the diagnostic was uh, not clear. One said that there's an uh, instability on the axis. Uh, some doctors say no there's nothing and yeah we found out in the DMX at the first day that uh, actually the atlas is tilting when I go forward and this was something what was really new for me and uh, yeah I think we we already found uh, huge things at the first day and yeah yeah it, we found that the atlas was tilting when you went mm -hmm. forward in flexion yeah. Were you were you surprised by anything else? Like when we did the open mouth view? Yeah, that um, uh, the actually the the C two C one to C two was uh, was not instable. Yeah, it was so, pretty stable, right? And yeah, it was really symmetrical and uh, does not leave his position. And this was uh, really good to know. Yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's different types of C1, C2 instability. And mm -hmm. one of the most common ones that's been measured has been that overhang where you jut forward or you keep your neck neutral and you bend ear to shoulder. Mm -hmm. And on that view, we were all very happy to see that you didn't have really any instability on those views. But when you bent down, the C1 was tilting and the C1 at rest was too far forward. So what else have you learned this week or, or how has the week been for you? Do you w would you do it again, you know, knowing what you've learned or the changes that you've seen? Yeah, yeah, I definitely would, would, would do it again. I learned a lot of things. Uh, um, we did a lot of tri needling. Um, uh, also today, we just realized that I have breathing issues. I, I have to breathe more in the, um, the abdomen. In the abdomen, not yeah. in the chest, and uh, because it caused some tightness here on up to the shoulders. And yeah, this. Uh, there are a lot of things what we learned um, 
yeah. even some exercises uh, you went with me to the to the gym mm -hmm. what uh, i said no no doctor before <laughs> did with me and yeah. uh, to do some some exercises to get this uh, blood flow um, increased yeah. and yeah good yeah we it was interesting today about the breathing we found that you were really chest breathing too much and it's my fault that I didn't catch it on day one, wow. you know, but it took us almost a week to realize that you were chest breathing in a way that was inhibiting or blocking because of the tension in your scalenes and your SCM and your pectoral muscles that was irritating and reducing blood flow that was leaving your head and also going back to your head. Mm. So after we practiced for about 10 minutes and did some release on the pec muscles, we noticed that just today, within one mm -hmm. visit today, there was improved drainage yeah. and blood flow in and out of your head, which was pretty mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, this morning I didn't feel so feel so well, and uh, after we did all this, uh, yeah, breathing uh, exercise, and uh, I was lying on the bed. You did some tri needling. It improved already in doing this day. So good. I know where to have to work on it and. Uh, also, for example, you showed me to don't manipulate or to uh, yeah to, to <laughs> work on my bones in in the way I did before, and uh, yeah. I, I, I'm confident that uh, when I follow this stuff to to improve it a bit more. Yeah, for you, Jonas, your C1 was already a little too far forward, so the position that you were kind of self working on it was you were pushing it a little bit further forward. So yeah, we reviewed that if you absolutely need to, how you could gently kind of assess it or just encourage it a little bit to be in the right position without adjusting it. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that will be a good part of your recovery. Yeah. Another thing was that you would say that you always had to do like this big adjustment or this big stretch. And how has that been changing throughout the last week? Yeah, as normally there was minimum, let's say each day I had to uh, I felt like tighten and uh, bad blood flow, and then I started to work on my uh, on my uh, upper cervical to to get it free. And uh, there are a lot of cranks and clicks, and uh, yeah, I almost did it every day, maybe several times. And uh, during that week, as you told me, I should not do it so often, or should I should not do it. And uh, we tried to find out where it is blocked and. Uh, it was not so, uh, needed so much, so and uh, already improved by uh, um, removing the tightness of the tension or tension of the the shoulders. It's a bit more yeah. free. I I had since years this side was uh, really tight and uh, yeah, it's not completely gone, but uh, it's already improved a bit. Good. So that was one of the probably mechanisms of your initial injury when you fell on that right shoulder and mm -hmm. you really you had like a you know, stretching too aggressively or a whiplash to the right there. And so we've, in the one week, you've noticed a reduction in the tension on that left side. Mm -hmm. And you know now, you know, what to do instead yeah. of trying to just adjust yeah. it on your own. Yeah. Good. All right. So is there anything else that you want to share with our viewers about, you know, your journey here or about how you're feeling or anything that else that you learned or you're excited for? Yeah. And for me, it was not even the treatment, but I also felt that I'm in good hands with uh, Dr. Brian Hutchison. He's uh, so kind, and uh, even after a few days, not normally the the most of the doctors are thinking, "Oh, I got the point where where we have the trouble," and uh, uh, they stop searching and searching and searching, and and you even that after the seven days, you 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 found. Uh, additional stuff and that's I think it's a good good thing thank you Jonas yeah. yeah we appreciate you coming down here and we're glad that you're noticing some changes like you know reduced clicking in your neck feeling a little bit more comfortable um, noticing the left side tension coming down for the first time since you really yeah. have been flared up for since 2019 I know the injury was 2015 but mm -hmm. really since 2019 that left side yeah. has not let up mm -hmm. so it's already starting to reduce and we're excited for you to yeah. do your homework and yeah. hopefully in the next month or two you'll be feeling really good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Jonas. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Cool.